I wanted to ask you, are you watching that fight this Saturday, Terrence Crawford uh, fighting Ndongo for all the titles? Of course I got to watch the fight because that's history, you know. I mean, Terrence Crawford's going to make history, you know, be, become an undisputed champion, and uh, that's something that I got to see. And, you know, uh, and Terrence Crawford's also a good friend of mine, so I got to watch him do his thing. Yeah, I, I saw him on Instagram give you some love when he saw you at Floyd's gym earlier this month. Yeah, yeah, me and him, we was we was uh, going at it in Floyd's gym. Yeah, he's nah, he's a cool guy. Like we were just going back and forth, just talking smack. You know, he's a cool dude. Now, you know, most people expect him to win the fight, become the first undisputed champ at Junior Welter. Just what do you think of Terence Crawford as a fighter? Terence Crawford, every fight he's getting better and better. Uh, he, he's smart in there. He, he's in there. He's not taking much punishment, and uh, he's getting better. So he's been so far. He's been looking good. What, what to your eyes? What makes him a great fighter? Uh, his jab. He, that's that's the most important punch in boxing. The jab. And Terence Crawford has a really good jab. He uh, and he's slick. He doesn't get hit. He, he's in there hitting and not getting hit. And that's the main thing in boxing: to hit and not get hit. Now you know it's coming down. He also breaks his opponents down. He he's a good body puncher. He's an overall great fighter. You think he's number one pound for pound? Like, kind of putting aside resumes. Once he went, once he wins this fight, you gotta give him. You gotta give him pound for pound number one. He's undisputed. He has all the belts in his division. You gotta, you gotta make him number one. Over Andre Ward. Over Andre Ward. When he when he wins this, he has all the belts. What more could he do? Now, how? What do you think about getting all the belts? Is that something you feel like you're gonna have to do in your career, or is it about? Because a lot of guys now, they grab a belt or two, beat the top guy, and then move on. What do you think about that? Um, I mean, it just depends. You know, it's, when, I get up, when I get up there, who knows? I mean, it's, it's going to be total different people. And it's now, nowadays in boxing, a lot of people who not, aren't even known or not even could win a belt. So, I mean, a lot of fights don't make sense, you know. So that, that's why some guys get a belt, move up and wait, go fight a uh, top guy at that weight because those fights make, make sense, you know. What do you think goes down when Terrence Crawford moves up in weight and, and faces off with the likes of Thurman and Spence? I think I think those are the fights that everybody wants to see. Once he once he uh, gets the undisputed at uh, 140, there's nothing more that he can do. He go to 147 and fight the top guys, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Earl Spence. Those are the fights that everybody want to see. Just off the top of your head, do you think he clears out 47? Could he beat the Errol Spences and Thurmans? Definitely. I, I mean, I definitely think that he could. Beat, beat the top guys at 147. I don't. Earl Spence, that'd be a good fight. Keith Thurman be a good fight. Danny Garcia be a good fight. No, those are all good fights, you know.